Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out. At this point, we've got success coaches in our program who are putting out content pretty much every 24 hours. So make sure you subscribe and don't stay stuck with your business. Now, if you want to reach out to me to schedule a free 15 minute call, you can do that by visiting the Calendly link in the description of this video. Go on there, book your free 15 minute call. We jump on Zoom. I can ask you some questions with regards to your business, see where you're at, see where you want to get to. And I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale what you're doing, right? If you don't want to do that, you just want to send me a, a question. You can do that and to my email. You can send all the questions to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Right? I make it a mission every single day to respond to all the coaches who reach out to our company. Now, today I want to talk about why PE teachers make great business owners. So over the last year, we have onboarded a lot of coaches into our program. We've also connected with a lot of coaches in multiple sports. And one thing that I've noticed is that some of the most successful business owners who I have spoken to have a history or have a past in PE teaching, right? They've either been a teacher or they've been a PE teacher in a school. Okay, so they've worked in either a school environment or they or they were a PE teacher. Now, I wanted to create this video because I know that this is going to be really valuable because I know a lot of PE teachers do watch our channel. And a lot of them do ask us and they, they connect with us and they ask us, hi Leo, like I, I'm currently in PE, I want to start my own business, how can I do it, what do I need, what qualifications, what experience, okay, so I want to try and answer all those, those questions in this video and I want to try and make it short, I don't want to make it a long one. So if you are a PE teacher, and you are considering jumping into the, the private training industry, I would recommend that it's a fantastic opportunity for you. Now, I've worked as a PE teacher before in a school, and I want to be completely honest, and this is the, just something that was personal to me, but personally, it wasn't something I enjoyed. Okay, I'm based in the UK, so working in a school... I had to do a lot of the admin side of, of teaching, which I didn't enjoy. I also had to work with really big groups. Okay, Most PE teachers here in the UK work with up to 30 kids in one, one class. So, And sometimes what I noticed is sometimes, depending on what school you work in, sometimes the schools don't have the, the correct equipment for the amount of kids you have to work with. Okay, and a lot of schools don't have PE as as a an important subject within within their school, which means you kind of get left at the bottom. So there's not there's not enough funding for new equipment. Uh, your classes are sometimes very overcrowded with a lot of kids. Um, you know, most kids don't really like physical education. So they become very disruptive, right? For me personally, and this is just a personal experience, it wasn't something that I enjoyed, okay? I didn't enjoy it, and I can say that every single day when I went into work, I hated what I was doing. And to, to be honest with you, I didn't last very long. I think I lasted a couple of months, and then I quit it because I couldn't do it anymore. It was just, it was an environment that I just didn't enjoy. I didn't see any, I wasn't adding any value to the kids because of the overcrowded environment, because of the lack of equipment that I was being provided from the school. And also a lot of the admin stuff, which had nothing to do with what I enjoyed, which was the coaching. Okay, so P teaching was not for me, but it was something that helped me to build my business, okay? And if you are a PE teacher, there's several skills that you use on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis 
that will make you a fantastic business owner when it comes to starting your own air training business. Okay, so a few things is right. Number one, structure. Okay, so if you are a PE teacher, then you understand that there's there's a curriculum that you have to follow with your your students. Okay, so that in, that means that you have to be very structured with your lessons. You have to plan your lessons out in advance. Okay, and that's fantastic because when you when you learn to, to plan your lessons, okay, when you become a business owner, you know you have to you have to plan your sessions as well. Okay, so that's one skill that if you are a PE teacher, you can take into your training business, right? Structure and sticking to a a school curriculum that is required. Okay, because when you start your own business, you can set up your own uh, training curriculum where your students, your players, your athletes follow that curriculum every single week. Right. You're coaching them through that curriculum. Right. So how to build and how to follow curriculum is one of the, the skills that will make you a fantastic business owner. Second one is the admin administrative side to the job. Right. With P teaching. There's a lot of forms, a lot of um, paperwork that you have to do. And that is a skill in itself, right? Because you have to make sure if you have 30 kids in a class, you have to make sure that everything is organized, right? So all, all documents are in alphabetical order. You've got to make sure that all the kids complete um, their homework. You have to make sure that you... Uh, sign the homework off right that you mark the homework right all of that requires good time management okay and it also requires a lot of organization from your end because if you've got a lot of students then you have to make sure that your time is is, is valuable and you're using your time wisely to make sure that you're marking all of your students uh, homework and tasks that you set them right this is a transferable skill because when it gets to business, right, it's the same principle and it's the same concept, right? Because if you have 50 to 100 clients that you're working with and you're setting them homework on a weekly basis or you have to go out and watch them uh, play in their, in their matches and you have to provide a report for them, okay, all of this is organization and time management, okay? And this is why P teachers are really, really good at this aspect of business because they when they're working in schools they're used to it right they have to be at a lesson at this time they have to make sure that all their students are dressed by this time they have to make sure that the session runs until this time okay so everything is structured and everything is is organized and they have to make sure that all the paperwork is in order so that students can get their grades or or, or whatever it is that they, you have to fill out, okay? And that is the same as in business, okay? So in business, you have to make sure that your clients all have contracts signed. You've got to make sure that their payment system is in place. You've got to make sure that you do. You have time to, to get on sales calls with coaches, uh, sorry, with parents, okay? So the skills are transferable. And that's why I think PE teachers do make really good business owners because they're used to working in higher numbers, okay, and they're used to having a lot of paperwork that they have to then complete, and this is the same in business, okay. Now, the next one is PE teachers are used to working with large groups. So, if you start your own training business and you want to go into the, the camps or clinics uh, environment right you want to start your your camps or clinics uh, training and you want to you want that to be your business model then being a PE teacher gives you that advantage right because if you're for example like here in the UK where most PE teachers have to work with up to 30 students at once right if you're used to working in big groups then ultimately when you start to run camps and clinics then it's easy Right, it becomes very easy, it becomes very manageable, and you know how to do it. Okay. Something I see with a lot of coaches is that 
they most coaches struggle with big groups. Right? Most coaches don't know how to manage uh, big big groups, whether that be in soccer, whether that be in basketball, whether that be in baseball, right? Most coaches don't know how to manage large groups such as in camps or clinics, okay? P teachers have that advantage, okay? Because they're used to working with large groups. They're used to working with kids of different levels, okay? And when you run a camp or clinic, it's exactly that, right? You're going to have large groups. You're going to have kids at different levels, different abilities, okay? You're going to be working with boys, girls, right? If it's a mixed camp. So being a P teacher gives you that experience in that environment working with large groups, working with different abilities, and essentially the that experience, if you take it into business, you can run really successful camps and clinics. Okay. And you will be very comfortable running, you know, those type of camps or clinics of that size because you're used to doing it with your P lessons. Okay. So I hope this helps. I hope this gives you a little bit of a, an insight into the, the skills and qualities that PE teachers have that they can then take into business, right? So if you are a PE teacher, you're watching our channel, you're watching this video, and you want to get in contact with me because you want to start your business, you want to do private training, okay? Contact me, get in contact with me. So visit the Canly link in the description below. Okay, and we can book a free 15 to 20 minute call, jump on Zoom. I can answer any questions that you might have, whether you're in the UK, whether you're in the US or wherever you are in the world, right? I speak to every single coach coach that reaches out to me. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you are in the world, okay, the principles of business are all the same. Okay, so get in contact with me, love to connect with you. And if you don't want to book a Zoom call, then just send me an email to make money coaching sports at gmail.com. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.